I have created the best build possible on NBA 2K21 Next Gen. And I know most of you guys aren't surprised when you see the name. It is the six foot seven power forward scoring machine. Now look, I know so many people have made this build, but nobody has made it the way I made it. And trust me when I tell you guys, I perfected the way this build is supposed to be made. Make sure you guys stick around and watch the entire video so you guys can actually understand why I made this build the way I did and then you will realize, yeah, he really created the best possible build in 2K21 next gen. So here we go. First things first, make him a power forward. You can do whatever hand you want. Now for your height, go six foot seven. You guys know that's the best build in the game. And for your weight, 211 pounds, because as you notice, the only rating that changes is your strength and it actually goes up by one. So go 211 pounds, because then when you go 212, your speed goes down one. So 211 is a sweet spot. Wingspan, six foot 11. I'll talk about this a little bit more as we get into the video. And then body shape, you can go whatever you want. I like built. Now copy these attributes exactly, and I will tell you guys why I made him the way I did. You max your driving layup, you max your driving dunk, you max your standing dunk, and you put your close shot up to a 32, so you unlock 12 finishing badges. And now I want I want you guys to pay attention. 32 close shot compared to post control 32. You need the same rating to unlock 12. I just prefer close shot. I'm going to explain why I choose each rating so you guys understand this. And the reason why I choose 12 finishing badges is because you want to use Heat Seeker on Hall of Fame, which is four. You want to use Posterizer Hall of Fame, which is eight. And then you want to use Slithery Finisher Hall of Fame for 12 finishing badges. Next, I'm just gonna skip ahead to the physicals because you do know you wanna max your speed, max your excel, max your stamina. Let's just get, get that out of the way. Now for your shooting, max your mid range, max your three point, and your free throw you wanna put up to a 63 so you get 24 shooting badges. And the reason for 24 shooting badges, let me tell you right now, I'll tell you all the badges and why you do it. Deadeye and Deep Threes, once you hit 98 overall, you get Deadeye Hall of Fame. Once you hit 99 overall, you unlock Deep Threes Hall of Fame. So that's eight badge points right there. Green Machine Hall of Fame, Hot Shot Hall of Fame, and Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame. Those five badges is 20, and then I skipped it, but the last one, Hall of Fame Blinders. Those will be your shooting badges that you use, all of them Hall of Fame, all six, which is 24 shooting badges. I'll show you guys towards the end when I get to the badges. Now your playmaking, you wanna max your ball handling, max your speed with ball, and max, not max, but put your pass accuracy up to a 70, so you get 20 playmaking badges, which is just the absolute perfect number again. So you can run Gold Ankle Breaker, Silver Bailout, which equals five badge points, Gold Bullet Passer, which is 8 badge points. Hall of Fame Handles for Days, which is 12. Hall of Fame Quick First Step, which is 16. And then Hall of Fame Unpluckable, which is 20. 20 playmaking badges. Literally the perfect amount. You could go 21 if you want to use gold bailout instead of silver. But I've been using silver and I swear it is. It, I never throw turnovers. Now for your defense. You max your perimeter. You max your block. Very important this year so you don't get contact dunked on. You max both your rebounding stats, which is also very important. And then lastly, you would think, let me just max one of these, and then you get 19. Let me max this, you get 19. But no, I was working, I was working with this thing a little bit. You wanna put your steel up to a 40, and you wanna put your interior defense maxed up to a 51, so you get that extra defensive badge point which is the exact amount of defensive badges you need. 12, 24, 20, 20. Now for the defensive badges, once again, I'll say, I'll repeat this at the end. I actually have to put it down, but you wanna use Hall of Fame ankle braces, which is four. You wanna use Hall of Fame clamps, which is eight. You wanna use Gold Intimidator, which is 11. You wanna use Hall of Fame pick dodger, which is 15. You wanna use Hall of Fame rebound chaser, which is 19. And then for that last badge point, you can use whatever you want. But this is the best version of the build. Now, I know that what I'm gonna get comments. Quill, you can get 80 something badges with this. You can get way more badges. 
guys i understand that but with the other version of it where you go max wingspan you go seven foot four wingspan you do not get hall of fame deep threes which you do on this build now if you are spotting up if you made this build as a spot up or as the two you're not an iso player i would recommend going the the seven foot four wingspan version but if you are use if you are an iso player you made this build because you are going to be the ball handler on your team you are going to iso you are the ball handler i would 100 percent recommend this version of the build you get hall of fame deep threes which is an absolute game changer when you are isoing it is a complete game changer and then you unlock all the badges you need as i just explained there next for your takeover now as of right now the two takeovers i'm using is finishing moves and ankle breaking shots but the good thing about this game is the mamba mentality badge you can change it whenever you want i might put a lockdown badge on this build but i also might put the spot up precision badge limitless badge is terrible i might use spot up precision but like i said as of right now i'm thinking finishing moves and ankle breaking shots as my two takeovers on this build and you guys see you have built a scoring machine my version of the scoring machine the best build in nba 2k21 next gen now real quick before i get into the badges you see all of these ratings are going to go up four so you will have a 99 perimeter defense an 88 ball handling a 98 driving dunk a 94 three-point shot when you make your builds you have to think what they'll be at 99 overall which is obviously plus four to each category so yeah keep in mind the ratings at 99 overall so add four to them and now the badges i pretty much explained this earlier but if you didn't really understand what i was saying the reason why you have the perfect amount of badge points hall of fame heat seeker super overpowered badge hall of fame posterizer i don't have to explain it hall of fame slithery finisher it would be nice to get giant slayer but you're six foot seven so there's no reason for it because everybody's making six foot eight six foot nine center so this really won't activate that much and these are really the only three finishing badges worth using so that's why 12 finishing badge points is the perfect amount for this build you can get the three best finishing badges and the rest are pretty much useless for your shooting badges like i said 24 is the perfect amount you you use six hall of fame shooting badges. i don't know why it's upgraded difficult shots but you get six hall of fame shooting badges and you see them right here literally the six best shooting badges the only thing i would maybe like would be to get stop and pop on some, on maybe silver which i'll until you're 99 overall you can use this silver but obviously when you hit 99 you want to use these on hall of fame i'm telling you guys this blinders badge is is secretly op but these six are the best six shooting badges and you unlock all of them on hall of fame on this build for your playmaking like i said gold ankle breaker silver bailout it would be nice to get this on gold but silver is good enough for some reason on this build you get quick first step hall of fame when you don't on the point guard it's weird but that's a big difference obviously gold bullet passer it's a really good badge this year hall of fame handles for days and then hall of fame unpluckable you can put your unpluckable down and put bailout to gold but i don't throw turnovers with silver bailout so i'm just gonna leave it on that and you see every good playmaking badge you can get there's no reason not to floor general and dimer would be nice but there's no reason to use those badges when everybody has a 93 pointer in this game or everybody can shoot so if your teammate can't shoot and they ask you to put those badges on just tell them it's time to make a new build but you see the perfect amount of playmaking badge points right there and then for defensive badges like i said hall of fame ankle braces hall of fame clamps gold intimidator um go hall of fame pick dodger hall of fame rebound chaser which is actually a really important badge and then you even have one left but you can throw on pogo stick you can throw on tireless defender i'm thinking pogo stick as of right now it doesn't really matter that much but you see you even get one more defensive badge point than you need but it's literally the perfect amount now you guys see why i feel like i made the perfect scoring machine build on nba 2k21 next gen now i don't know when i'm going to upgrade this player because i'm not playing my career on and my career is boring as hell i'll probably wait for the next warehouse challenges to come out and when they do is when i'll start working on this build but if any of you guys do want to grind this build not my build but grind your own scoring machine build 
this is the way I would recommend to make it the best version of it if any of you guys do make this build please do me a favor or if you enjoyed the video please do me a favor drop a like on the video sub if you're new and I'm out